we're going to retrofit all of our council stock eventually and that's uh, over 4,000 properties so it's a really big ambition but we're totally on, on the way and ahead of the game to getting towards that already. We put solar panels on the roof which obviously generates a lot of um, energy to use inside the home. Uh, There's loft insulation, cavity wall insulation and new replacement doors and windows. This couldn't have come at a, a better time and um, we really need to crack on and get as many done now as we can, which we are doing. So the, the saving is going to be around between um, 40 and 70 percent. But of course, that, that figure might have changed a little bit now because of the fuel prices themselves going up. But everybody that's had this work done will still be paying a lot less than they have been before. So it's essential work. For each property, there's going to be on average a reduction of 3.2 tonnes of carbon every year once they've been retrofitted, which if you try and envisage what that would look like, it's easily a great big lorry, lorry load full, isn't it? 3.2 3 tonnes, if not two. Um, so by the end of the year, when we've, we would have um, retrofitted about 360, we're going to be at um, a redu carbon reduction of 1,152 tonnes at least. So that's just amazing that we've, we've taken all of that carbon out of the atmosphere. Hi, my name's Rebecca Merritt. Um, since we moved in last May, we've had solar panels, new double glazing doors, um, we've had cavity wharf filling, um, all making a huge difference to our energy bills. Um, so the solar panels, on a day even like today, we're still producing energy, even though it's not greatly sunny, but we are still producing it. So through our energy provider, we've got a smart meter, which tells us what we're using throughout the day. Um, so if we turn something on, you'd be able to see if it's costing you more than what you're making or if you're still sending money back to the grid. Anything, I suppose, right now for anybody, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, council or private, any in energy provider would be grateful that you're saving money. So as long as we are lowering our bills, I'm happy with that. Even if it's a pound or a penny, it's still lowering my bills. So since we've had the new wall insulation and windows and doors, um, we've noticed a drastic difference with our bills. So we kind of only put the heating for maybe an hour, an hour and a half in the morning, same again in the evening if needs be. Um, we used to have the house really hot because we found that we needed it a lot hotter, but now we just don't. It's kind of more self-sufficient. We're really, really proud of our house. We love it. We love where we live. Um, we, fit, we feel like we've fitted in really well since moving here from Torquay. So we're really proud to be here. I'm immensely proud of, of what we're doing and the work that all the officers have, have done to be able to make this happen and the way they've done it with financial modelling against our maintenance costs, which means that we don't have to charge the tenants any money towards it. So a different model would have been to do just that, for, for tenants to pay a comfort charge to offset the money that we've had to pay to do the housing. But we've gone away from that so there's no charge at all to our tenants so it's just savings for them and, and a more comfortable home so I'm so proud of that of the way that we're doing it apart from the, the actual work itself. 